So we, we got to figure out what your objective is and what it is that you're trying to do in the scene. And that's what's going to, whatever you're trying to do is what's going to be what's going to cause you to speak, what's going to cause you to do or say whatever happens in the scene. Like my objective right now would be to teach you. And that's what's driving me to talk. And your objective is to learn. And that's what's sort of causing you to look at me. Well, when we have a scene, we got to figure out, you know, you're playing this guy named Jared, uh, excuse me, this Carl guy. And, you know, what is he trying to do in the scene? To, and it has to be an objective that's something that's difficult to accomplish because it's got to be difficult because if it's, if it's easy to accomplish, then your mind will start to wander because you will have accomplished it and you'll have nothing to do. So whatever objective you select, it has to be hard to accomplish. That's number one. And it has to help tell our story in an effective way. So basically what we need to see in you is your, your character is kind of a, an idiot. He's kind of a lost, kind of confused guy. He's kind of, um, he's a fuck up, you know? And, you know, he's, he's also a, a um, he's a convict. I mean, he's a felon, he's a, he's a criminal. And so, but this, this is a, you know, your character is funny. Now the character doesn't believe he's funny, but it is a funny scene. You know, there's a number of reasons it's funny. It's funny because of what I'm doing, because I'm kind of bumbling around, but it's also funny because you see yourself as a smart person but you're also kind of an idiot too. Does that make sense? Yeah. What do you think your objective should be in the scene? What are you trying to do? Uh, I want to strike the, the best uh, uh, a profitable deal from this guy. And, and uh, this guy seems a bit convoluted. He's, he's, not, he's not straightforward. So he's giving me a hard time uh, agreeing into a certain deal. So, well, uh, but, but the deal has been agreed upon. It's just that when you realize he hasn't brought the money, that's when things kind of get confusing. But it feels to me like, if anything, I agree with you that this guy that you're dealing with, Jerry, seems kind of like a confused person. And I think on your end, it probably is sort of like, should I, does this guy know what, is this the right guy? Is he know what he's doing? Like, am I going to kidnap somebody and not get paid? Like, he's late. Like, what am I dealing with here? Does that make sense? So I think the fun of the scene is watching you suss me out, trying to sort of gather information and understand if I can do this. Because, you know, if I'm some fuck up, you're gonna go to prison. You're kidnapping somebody. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So I think the, the fun of the scene is watching you kind of try to analyze me. Like, can I, should I do this deal? So when I come in, I'm, I'm Jerry Lundegaard. You're Jerry Lundegaard? Yeah, Shep probably was. Shep said that you would be here at 7.30. It's 8.30, man. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? You're an hour late. I've peed three times already. And everything is very serious to you. Does that make sense? So I like the objective, like, to figure things out. Like, I'm trying to figure out if I should do the deal. I'm trying to figure out if I should continue working with this guy. I'm trying to figure out if I can trust him. I'm trying to figure all these things out. So we watch you analyze, try to get answers in the scene and not get the ones that you thought you were gonna get, which is only gonna make you more confused and make you fight harder to understand it. Does that make sense? Yes. So when you're saying your line, try to figure things out. Ready? I'm just going to go from the top and try to figure things out when you do the scene. Here we go from the top. Action. I'm Jerry Lundegaard. You're Jerry Lundegaard. Yeah, yeah. Chef Proudfoot said that, uh, you know, we should... Chef uh, um, said you will be here at 7.30. What gives you? Chef said 8.30. Keep trying to figure things out. You've been sitting here for an hour. I've been peed three times already. Okay, that was good. It's very funny to see you say I've peed right three times already for some reason. I think it's because your character is so serious and watching you say something like that is funny because you'll learn about comedic principles, why people laugh. And one of the reasons people laugh is when things happen that are unexpected. And this unexpected thing is you saying a line like I've peed three times already when you're going to kidnap somebody. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, memorize it, put that objective into the whole scene, keep trying to figure out if you should, and don't have the answer. You've got to keep trying to figure out all the way through to the end of the scene. Even when I'm like, 
you know, when you get to the part where you got the money, yeah, well, I mean, you got the, no, no, wait a minute. What about the money? I'm still trying to figure out if I should do this. Shep said, well, no, no, 40,000. And I'm trying to figure out what you're talking. Is, is this guy changing the deal? And then I say the whole thing about the ransom. And then you're like, oh, fuck it. At least I get a car. I get a car out of the deal. And you're still trying to figure out if you should even, because once you figure it out, you're going to have nothing to do. So you got to keep remembering in the scene that you're going to continue to try to figure things out and don't have the answer. Does that make sense? Yes.